Lords, 48th Annual Paso. Sunday, April 9th at sundown. $100 per person or $100 per family. Drive a community center. Co-op City, the Boogie Down Bronx, New York. 177, Drives a Loop, Bronx, New York. 10475. $100 per person or per family. Send your funds in today. No excuse. Down from $150 thanks to Commander General Yahana. He pay your way, pay for somebody else's. Send in your funds today. No excuses. Shalom, Washington, D.C. This is the ISUPK. We come out of 125th Street. All right, out of Harlem, New York. We are the Hebrew Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians are the so-called Israelites that the Bible speaks of. The so-called white man is the Edomites. That's who, that's who the white man is. The white man been pressing the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. All right? Here's the problem with black people today. We want to join the white man, and the white man, he wants to, to, to probably deport every Hispanic brother after he done built up America. The same thing that the so-called white man did to the black man with the black codes, he's doing the same thing through, a, through a, uh, integration. After you done worked so hard in America, the white man feels that you're useless, and he tries to deport you. He tries to lock the black man up. He tries to call the Hispanic man and the black man as criminals. They said according to research, the, immigrant, the immigrants that are being in deportation camps, that they say that 90% of them have not broken the law. 90% of them never even caught a trespassing charge. Trump is trying to destroy the blacks and Hispanic and Native American Indians, man. You don't understand what's happening in America, man. You blind. You think the, you think the so-called white man gonna deport the Hispanic people and just leave you niggas alone? He been killing you, man. Their police officers been murdering you, man. They have been locking you up. Brother, you remember? This ain't the first time cops been killing Negroes. Me and you come from way back in the days. The white man has always murdered the blacks and Hispanic, man. Ain't nothing new, man. Now you worrying about Trump. I was never worried about Trump, man. I've always been worried about white America, man. That's been my problem, man. Trump ain't the only devil. Ronald Reagan was a devil. George W. Bush was a damn devil. George Washington was a damn devil, man. That's all it been is devils in the White House, man. Read, man. Ezekiel 22, verse 29. The people of the land have used oppression. And that the people of the land have used oppression. How did he use oppression? You know what I mean? How did he use it? By his racism, right? By lynching us. By putting us on drugs, by locking us up, giving blacks and Hispanics heavy sentences, man. You know what I mean? By, by changing laws, putting the, locking us up, deporting the Hispanic brothers. They deport the Hispanic brother and put them in a concentration camp and they call it what? A deportation camp. They done locked the black man up and, and, and because of drugs, they give him life without parole. Blacks and Hispanic are the ones that are being oppressed in America, man. The white man oppress everybody, man. The white man will go into a land and he'll steal all the natural resources and then oppress the people. And then make the people look like the people are wrong because they want to rebel against the white man to get the white man out of his land. A lot of y'all don't even know that the Hawaiians said it's better that the blacks and Hispanics stay in America than the white man. They call him a, a holy or a hola or something like that. That's what they call the so-called white man. Because he's the damn devil. Everybody knows he's a damn devil, man. And all devil means is deceiver. He's a liar. Read. And exercised robbery. And what? And exercised robbery. How did the white man get this land? Exercised robbery. How did he bring the black man to America? Exercised robbery. These are facts, man. We got to wake up, man. After 400 years, you think this white man gonna give you a pass? You damn right no. He ain't giving you no pass. He ain't gonna say that again, man. There you go. That's the problem, man. We gotta separate, man. 
How you separate from a white man? By stop joining and supporting his businesses, man. How many of y'all saw the black sister being choked out by the Asian, man? Did anybody ever question, was that Asian? Was he a, a, a naturalized citizen of America? Hell no. They don't never question the Asians. They don't never question the Ethiopians. They don't never question none of these other races. But they'll, they'll question the Hispanic tribes. They, they say it again, who the real enemy is? Hold on, who's the real enemy? Yeah. Right. Right, of course, it's wrong. But the white man create conditions for blacks and Hispanic to fight one another, man. Like brothers be thinking that the Hispanic, the Hispanic uh, brothers is taking out their jobs. Black man, you ain't never had a job from the get with, man. You've been a slave in America, man. And now because you feel the Hispanics is taking your job, you got an attitude of a house nigga. That's the problem with black people, man. You want to be the white man's house nigga for life. You gotta wake up, man. White man, right. The real enemy is the white man, like this brother bringing up. You gotta understand that. We all know, man. Black people are so pressed out. They want to point the finger at the so-called Hispanic brothers, but really, they don't realize it's the white man. Because these white people run around in your neighborhood smiling in your face don't mean they love you, man. What the hell wrong with you, black man, black woman? Hey, read that from the top again. Verse 29. Come, come. Yeah, the people of the land have used oppression. You hear that? That's how they've been destroying us, man. They've been oppressing us. And every black person know. And every Hispanic brother and sister know. They've been using oppression on us, man. Why do you think the cops been killing us? The cops harass us. You can't even stand in your own damn neighborhood without a cop telling you you got to leave. Black people normally like to hang out. We like to hang out, talk, get live, joke. We like to have a good time in our own neighborhoods, man. As soon as the white man see that, he want to come up and try to charge you for soliciting, loitering, trespassing, man, and dare you to say something. And if you say something, he going to try to shoot you dead. Come on, man. Y'all better remember Trayvon Martin, man. He walking home. Goddamn Zimmerman wasn't even a goddamn police officer, and he murdered that brother, man. Come on, man. Read. And exercised robbery. And he and the white man exercised robbery. How did he rob? He, he stole this land. He stole you from Africa, man. He exercised robbery. You done had 400 years of free goddamn labor. He ain't paid you yet. Now the Hispanics been building all of DC up, all of America, and now they want to deport them, man. You gonna tell me that's fair? That's justice, man? That's like me using you, and then after you help me get rich, then I, do, I decide to throw you in jail. And then when they throw them in deportation camps, guess what they do? The big farms, they go hire them, because once you're an inmate, that you now, you're liable, according to the amendment, you're liable to be a slave, man. They don't understand what these laws are made of. Anytime you break a law, you throw, all the way your, you throw away all your freedom rights. Now they can use you as a slave. And brothers think they know the law. But that's in the 13th Amendment, man. Give me uh, Jeremiah 20, I mean Jeremiah 50 and 33. You don't understand. The same thing that's happening to the Hispanic brothers, the same thing that happened to the black man. The only difference is, is that you go to prison and he go to a deportation camp. It's still detention. It's still against your, uh, your will. You don't understand, man. The blacks and Hispanic are, are one family, man. The white man trying to divide us, but the law said we're going to come together as a race of people. He's going to join the, the stick of Ju uh, Judah with the stick of Joseph. Joseph in the Bible is the Hispanic brothers, man. The Native American Indian brothers, man. You got it? White man, real enemy. Ooh, yeah, point to it, brother. Right. Jeremiah 50, verse 33. Thus said the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel, the children of Israel, who's the children of Israel? The so-called black, Hispanic, Native American Indians. That's who the children of Israel. Your real identity is that you're an Israelite. If you're in Haitian, or, or if you're a Jamaican, or West Indian, 
or from Mexico or Guatemala, your biblical identity is that you're an Israelite. You're God's true chosen people, man. You know what I mean? No, not the Philippines, man. They may, they might get a little past. They ain't gonna suffer like the white man. But the Philippines, they gonna have to serve us too. But the Lord said the the, the, the tents of Japheth, so to, uh, 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 the children of Japheth to dwell in the tents of Shem. One thing we do got in common is the white man is a damn devil. He stole your land like he stole the Mexican land. And then here's the funny thing about it. How in the hell can the Mexicans be illegal when they was over here first? That's like me saying, I, I think about it. Do it make any sense? Like how in the hell, where do you think they get Nevada, New Mexico, California from? Those were the Hispanic tribes land, man. They don't want to hear it. You know what I mean? The real legal alien, like he's trying to be nice. Yeah. He's, his conscience is messing with him. You're going you you to need more than that. You need to throw your, your, your ATM card in the bank and give up all your all your treasures. And give the, give the land back to the Native American Indians. You know what I mean? Read. The children of Israel and the children of Judah, and Judah is the so-called uh, uh, so called Negroes, the West Indian brothers, and the Haitian brothers. That's Judah. Read. We're oppressed together. You hear that? The Lord said we were oppressed together, man. They locking us up. Every time you hear a brother getting shot by the police, you don't hear over in California how the police is killing the Hispanic brothers. Or in Texas how they murdering the Hispanic brothers. You know why? Because we divided amongst ourselves, man. We supposed to be one family, man. One family. You know what I mean? Go ahead. And all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. You know that? They held us under this oppression, man. After he deport the Hispanics, he gonna bring some more Hispanic brothers over. He gonna use them up. Just like he done used us up for 400 years, man. He done destroyed us. Give me Genesis, man. This is why he oppressed us, man. Like, I give it to the Hispanic tribe. Give me Genesis uh, 28 and 12. Here's, here's the problem with the white man. The white man figured this out. He said it's hard to get the Hispanics to have an abortion. I can get you, I can get them Negroes, they'll have an abortion because they'll serve me. But I got to keep these numbers down. And the Hispanic brothers and sisters, they ain't aborting no babies like the so-called black man. They'll have babies. And I'd say, I'd say big up to the Hispanic tribe for having those babies, man. Big up. Keep multiplying. Maybe black people will start to realize to not let your woman go into an abortion clinic, man. You won't convince her to, to abort her babies. You'll convince her to keep that baby, man. Abortion is murder, man. That's a life. You know what I mean? If you kill a pregnant woman, you get a uh, double homicide charge, man. What the hell wrong with us today, man? Boarding our babies, man. Big up to the Hispanic tribes for not aborting their babies, man. Life is precious amongst the blacks and Hispanic, man. It's a gift from God to have a black child, man. It's a gift from God, man, to see your seed walking on the earth. You better wake up, white man, and convince our people to murder our babies through abortion. And then they call it Planned Parenthood. No, nah, you don't want to plant this. I call it Clan Parenthood. That's what I call it. I call it no damn Planned Parenthood. That's Clan Parenthood, man. What the hell? Taking your woman to the hit squad, man. You know what I mean? We gotta wake up, man. We gotta stop this foolishness, man. Read. This is why he oppressed us. Well, Genesis 28, 12. And he dreamed, and behold, a ladder set up on the earth, and the top of it reached to the heaven. Give me 13, brother. Verse 13. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, And the Lord is talking to Jacob, man. The Lord sent the angel to talk to Jacob. Jacob, is his name was changed to Israel. The Israel, damn, what's up with this one for you? Israel is the 12 tribes, man. So the Lord has given him a vision and given him a prophecy of the future. And this is the main reason why the so-called man, so-called white man oppresses us, or the white race. Because if left alone, you'll multiply all over the earth. Why? Because that was the blessing that Isaac gave to Jacob. He gave the same blessing that his father gave to him, which was Abraham. The Lord told Abraham that he would have a children of multitude. His seed would multiply. 
So the white man, he know that left alone, you'll multiply. You remember back in the days when black families had six people, eight children, 12 children? Right or wrong? And we wasn't worried about how we gonna feed them. We went and fed them, we went and did the job. Right or wrong? That's right, you know what I mean? He done convinced us to say, you got too many kids. You got too many kids, you gonna be on welfare. White men only try to protect welfare for white, poor white people. You know what I mean? There's more poor white people on welfare than it is black people. We hear that, that garbage from the white Republican party. You the goddamn devil in the earth, man, destroying everything, and the white Democratic party. I don't know who's worse. I guess the Democratic party is just, just moralist. They like homosexuality and all that other garbage. Well, they at least open about it. You know what I mean? Read. And the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord, God of Abraham. The God of Abraham, man. Abraham is our forefathers, man. Negroes be talking about, we're Africans. All that other garbage, you ain't no African, man. When you start to really study your identity and you start to study these people in the Bible, first of all, everybody know that Jesus Christ was a black man. Right or wrong, y'all all know he was black. So how in the hell can a so-called white man be a goddamn Jew? All of a sudden, he gonna change his skin color? What, because he went up north? You got brothers all the way up in Canada. They skin, they skin color ain't never changed. They done stole your record. That's why he said robbery, man. He done stole your identity and painted a white Jesus, man. And then put a philosophy on the white Jesus to tell you to love everybody. Meanwhile, you staring at this white Jesus and seeing this white man and he's smiling at you, you think you staring at a white Jesus. You think it's righteous to love white people because they done told you, love your enemy. That ain't what Christ was talking about. Christ was talking about if you had a brother in the hood that was your damn enemy, give him a pass, man. That's what you call unity and love, man. Read. I am the Lord God of Abraham, thy father, and the God of Isaac, the land where on thy lies, to thee will I give it, and to thy seed. That land, that land he talking about is the Middle East. From the Euphrates River to the Nile River is your original homeland, black man. Research your history, man. Black and Hispanic, man, that's your original land, man. They done ran around telling us that the uh, so-called Negroes is African, man. How in the hell is a white man gonna be a damn Jew when Christ was dark? As his feet was burned in a furnace, man. That's dark black. Hey, your face, oh, damn Jew. Read. And thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth. You hear that? He said your seed shall be what? As the dust of the earth. Meaning we supposed to multiply. That's why they had to push abortion on black people. That's why they got to lock black men up. That's why they got to turn black men and black women into being homosexuals and lesbians. That's why they got to try to push abortion on a Hispanic tribe. Because they refuse to murder their babies, man. So mean that they're not uh, aborting their babies, they'd rather deport them. But they ain't gonna be able to stop the Hispanic tribes, man. They ain't gonna be able to stop it, man. That's why the white woman, she gotta go see all kind of doctors and stuff like that, just to get pregnant. She gotta see four or five doctors just to have one baby. Meanwhile, black people and Hispanic people, babies will pop out of us, you leave us alone. We gonna multiply, why? Because God said that we was gonna multiply. Why? Because God want us to multiply. Read on. And thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth, and that shall spread abroad to the west, and to the east, and to the north. And that the Lord said we're supposed to spread out. We're supposed to have babies. We're supposed to see our, our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren. That's why I love, I respect the Hispanic tribes, man. I respect them, man. They ain't walking up in no, no abortion clinics, man. We gotta stop our sisters and young brothers from telling and convincing our sisters that to abort their babies, man. Come on, man. We less than 8% of population in America and we've been here for 400 years. Ain't that crazy? Come on now, think about it. We less than 8% of the population and we like killing ourselves off, man. We voluntarily murdering our own children. The white man convinced us to murder our own babies. We are bad. He a bad man, man. White man don't like me, huh? You know what I mean? White man don't like this. Don't worry about it. He don't like me. He don't I like know, me. he don't like nobody. White man don't like his damn self, man. 
Hey, yo, give me Deuteronomy 2865. Hey, give me another reader on that book. Hey, nine thought. Where's nine thought at? Hey, where's that book at? Yeah. Hey, hey find uh, page 15. How i call you. Want to get this? Page 15. How I like. Ready? And here's what. Here's what's so ruthless about segregation. Let me explain something. Segregation was just like after slavery. After slavery, anybody know about the black codes? They say they freed us. Let me give you a little history. This is a brother that wrote about it. Right where it's green at, you see it. After Andrew Johnson established all white state governments. Andrew Johnson was a president under Lincoln. Okay, read it again. After Andrew Johnson established all white state governments. Right. He went, he went and started establishing a white government in the South. He said, damn that reconstruction. He said, I'm gonna take the same white racist people that was in the South, I'm gonna give them all their positions back. Read. Although four million blacks lived in these states, the white Southerners enact black code. They enacted what? Black codes. They gonna tell you what these black codes is. That's what they did. They said, damn, these plantations, these blacks might leave the plantation, and if they leave the plantation, that's going to stop my money. Now, a lot of y'all heard about sharecropping, right or wrong. Y'all heard about it. Now, you got to think about it. Black people, during the time of slavery and out of slavery, they had been dividing the families up. So mothers was looking for their children, fathers was looking for their wives and their children. So once they got free, they started to travel and looking for their family members. Because that's the love that we had for one another. Read. Because of the stringency of these laws. He said the stringency, meaning talking about they was what? They was imposing rigorous and severe rules on top of black people right after slavery. Read. Many Northerners believe that their aims were to keep the black man in a status of involuntary servitude. Involuntary servitude, meaning slavery. That's what servitude is. So when you came out of slavery, you thinking you're gonna be free. But they put these black codes on top of you to keep you in slavery so that you'll now still go work the same plantation you tried to escape from. The same plantation that you got your back beat. The same plantation that you was raped. So they enacted these black codes. Sound like the, the, the immigration law. Read. If not actual slavery, blacks cannot function as preachers without a license. Meaning you needed a license. You had to go to this racist white man to try to get a license just to talk about God. Read. They were not permitted to carry firearms. Ain't that like today? It's hard for a brother to get a, a license for a gun. White man, he be in D.C. and he go file and they give him license. As soon as the, the population change in D.C., now they trying, to, they trying to pass a gun law so white people can get guns. Why is that? Why is that? Huh? Why is that? Yeah, exactly. What you say, brother? To kill us. To kill us. To kill you. Right. That's correct. Read. The blacks. Hey, Zimmerman is a good example of that. You know what I mean? He had a license to carry a gun. Read. The blacks could not serve on juries, nor could they vote. Hear that? There's a lot of black men that got felons. You can't vote. You can't serve as a jury, and you're supposed to be judged by the peers of your own community. But if you got a record, you can't. It's the same black codes that they had back then they just changed the name of the laws. That's the same thing with the immigration law. An immigrant can't vote. He ain't allowed to vote. He ain't allowed to sit on no jury. That's the same thing. The same oppression that the so-called white man is laying on us, he is now laying it on the Hispanic brothers. Read. They were denied the choice of approaching whites unasked. You hear that? That means if a white man came up to you and smacked the hell out of you, you better not say nothing to him. You better not report it. Now, now go hit a white man in D.C. <laughs> See what he can do. Who gonna win? If a, oh, let me tell you something. If a white man hits you, guess what? He'll probably win. You know what I mean? 
be quiet around white people. Fuck and they could not right. own land. Say that clear. And they could not own land. And they could not own land. Read. Any white man, rich or poor, could arrest a black man. You hear that? This is the black code. What happened to Trayvon Martin? You, gotta be quiet around white you know what I mean? They just changed the name of the law and they still doing the same thing. Meaning this, that's why the movie, if you ever saw the movie of life when Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence got locked up, they didn't get caught by a sheriff, they got caught by some drunken, nasty, poor white boys that came up and said, I believe he's dead. Y'all remember that? And locked, and locked them up and brought them to the sheriff. Ain't that what Zimmerman tried to do to Trayvon Martin? That's the same exact thing, man. Read. Severe work rules were enacted. Black laborers became known as servants. What is another word for servant? Slave. This is supposed to be after slavery. They put these black codes on. Read. Irrespective of sex, whether or whether they worked indoors or outside, and the employers were known as masters. What is an employer was known as? Masters. What is your white, your white employer known as? Masters. You gotta understand, black man, Hispanic man, the so-called white man, man. You is slave, man, in America, man. You know what I mean? You a slave, man. If you paying taxes to another man or paying rent to another man or gotta work under another man or beg another man, another race of color for some food, money, some work, some clothing, or buy his clothes, you a slave in here, man. You a slave, man. Employers could suck it. Employers could flog. Say that clearly. They got the hit. They got the hit. What could employers do? Employers could flog a laborer. Hear that? Do you know what flogging is? Anybody know? He said an employer can flog a laborer. That means he can whip you. Off the GP. You show up late, you got a whipping come. You back talk him, you got a whipping come. You done damaged some goods on the job, you got a whipping come. Read on. Under 18 years old and older laborers by the mandate of a judge. And in this, if you was 18 and under, that means children was working. They would get flogged and beaten. Now, if you was 18 years and older, the so-called white man, whether he poor or rich, all he got to do is go to the judge and say, I need to go, I need to go whip this bigger. You know what I mean? The judge say, boom. No questions asked. But this supposed to have been after slavery. It's supposed to have been after slavery. The white man don't want to see and let me tell you something. That's the same type of beating that cops be giving black people and Hispanic people, the white man. man. Don't want to see white same white type. Man. Hey, thank you, brother. They don't want to see Stay up, Warrior. Appreciate man. that, brother. All right. That's the same type of beating, man. Read. For the violation of working sites before the termination of their contracts, they could be arrested and all costs charged against them. You don't understand. Let's say this is you try to leave. Your contract ended, right? Read it again. For the violation of any kind of violation, read, of working sites, of working sites, you get a violation on your job, you get a violation out there back in the south, doing the black codes, read, before the termination of their contracts, they could be arrested at all costs. Imagine that. You get arrested working on a plantation and they arrest you because the white man said you did something wrong. Now after they arrest you, guess where you going? Back to the goddamn plantation. You trying to leave the plantation. This is supposed to be after slavery. They enacted black codes. That's what brothers in, in prisons down south is going through, man. They out in the field. You ever see a, a special on Angola prison? That's an old plantation where they got black men literally picking all kind of stuff up from the ground. Thank you, brother. That's crazy, man. We don't realize, and we get mad at the Hispanic. Let me tell you something. Black Hispanic people ain't taking my job. I'm not gonna go. I'm not going to no no field and pick no oranges. That's the God. Of, anybody gonna go pick some oranges? Let's keep it real. Is a Hispanic man really taking your job? Hell no. But they're trying to use that so we can join the white man. And let me say this: If Trump got a plan for the Hispanic people, after 
Say that. Say it one more time, brother. That's right. He got one for us, man. That's how the white man is. He tried to destroy all minorities, but mainly the two minorities, black and Hispanics. That's what he tried to destroy. Read that part again. For the violence, and this is the black codes in the South after slavery. It's what your forefathers did to us, man. I know you think you ain't guilty. You guilty as charged. You know why? You done reap the benefits, man. You done reap the benefits. You done received stolen goods and you don't really realize it. This land was stolen. 400 years of free slavery. Free slavery. Think about it. If I had a, if I had a company and I had 20 workers that I didn't have to pay, you know how much money I could make? That's a hell of a that's a hell of a way to go. That's right. Free labor, read. For the violation of working sites before the termination of their contracts, they could be arrested. You hear that? Right before you get rid of your contract with this so-called white man in the plantation, right before you get ready to fulfill that contract that you agreed to, you could be what? Before the term be what? So they they can be arrested. You hear me? Stay with me. Stay with me. What? Arrested. We are. And all costs charged against them. Right. And charged against them. Read. In the spring and summer, they work for 12 to 16 hours a day. You hear that? They work from what? They work from 12 to 16 hours a day. And, I, and they thought slavery was over. They put these black codes on them and forced them back into slavery. So therefore, that old slavery, that old uh, freedom was an illusion to black people. It was something they never, they never ever, ever received. And you ain't never received it because we don't really know what freedom is. We don't know what freedom is. You think because a white man won't let you walk up and down the block, wear different clothes? You think you got freedom? Where do you buy, where you buy your clothes from? White man. And during the slavery, guess what? He would give you his hand-me-downs. Right or wrong? He'd give you a paycheck. Now, now you buy your own clothes. Now you buy your own clothes from him. You pay your rent from him. Back in slavery, guess what? He would house you on the plantation. You would get your food, your, your, clo your, your food and your clothing and your housing from your slave master. And if you, if you ever read the slave stories, and you know what one slave memoir said? They said the baddest, the worst thing was beatings, and it was never enough food to be fed to the slaves. One incident was a slave said this. He said when the master was biting on a biscuit, he tossed the biscuit, you know how you throw something to the ground, to the side? He said, the slave said, me and the dog went for the piece of bread. That was slavery. That is what our ancestors went through. And they talk like we don't want, you, hey, you might as well close his eyes. You know what I mean? All the murder that you done did. He ain't gonna do nothing but grow up to be another murderer anyway. You know what I mean? That's a, you know what I mean? That's all, that's all white people ever do is go and murder. How did they get this land? They damn sure ain't get this land through diplomacy. And he said, listen, Native American, let's, let's make a deal. Not at all. He ain't go to Africa and say, listen, Africans, let me uh, make a deal with you. You know what I mean? They more than racist, man. They murderers, man. They the thieves of the earth, man. They the liars of the earth, man. Hey, yo, she's smiling because she enjoying her, her wealth, her fathers and stole. You know what I mean? I don't blame them, but our day is coming. That's the beautiful thing. The Bible say our day is coming. Read. When slavery was abolished and the Civil War came to an end. When the slavery was abolished and the Civil War came to an end, the freemen left the plantations to look for work in other places. Meaning this, after you left, after free, when freedom came, you said, damn man, I'm, I'm getting up off of this plantation. He done, he done beat my back, raped my woman, raped my daughter, raped my son, I'm out of here. He done sold my daughters, he done sold my sons, he probably done sold my wife. Read. And to find scattered members of their families. They went and started looking for scattered members, man. Like any other person would do. Be like, yo, listen, I heard my, my mother, she's at such and such plantation. 
my sister and my brother, they had Mr. Wilkins Plantation. So you start to travel and try to come back and pick your people up together because you're thinking you got freedom. Read on. New regulations, uh, new regulations sought to discourage this movement. Blacks were required to go to sleep at an early hour. Yeah, that blacks was required to go to sleep at an early hour. What is that? If somebody tells you you got to go in your house and go to sleep, what is that? What do we call it today? We call it prison. What else we call it? We call it martial law. If they tell you you got to go in your house, that's martial law. This is what you're gonna face coming out of slavery, so-called slavery. Oh, martial law too. New regulations were sought to discourage this movement. Blacks were required to go to sleep at an early hour. Laborers who were missed from their jobs. Laborers that was missed, meaning you said, man, listen, I ain't gonna go to work on this plantation today. I'm gonna go look for my folks. I ain't scared of the white man. Continue where you left off. Scared of the white man. He laughed and smiled and shit. From their jobs were fined. The amount yeah, was double go, their wages. Yeah, that, imagine you leave work, right? And now, let's say this is you getting paid $400. Right? The white man's supposed to pay you $400, but you leave work. Now, I catch you looking for your family, bring you back to the plantation. Now, you owe me for $800. I double your wage of owing me now. Now, you got to work three or four weeks more without pay just because you went looking for your families. Read. If anyone ran away from his work, he could be arrested and hired out to another master employers. This was the beginning of the horrible pre sharecropping system in the South. This was the beginning, meaning this start all those other laws, the lynching, the Jim Crow, all these laws started off of this black codes. Read on. The concept was to bind. The concept of this was to what? Was to bind the black man to the plantations like an inmate in a penal institution as was accomplished under slavery. Right. Meaning this, these codes was to just keep you back. Right back in slavery, man. Give me what I want, brother. Deuteronomy 2865. This is how the so-called Negroes felt. You think about that, I'm good. And among these nations, Shall that find no ease? And that among these nations, man, you're not gonna find no ease, man. Tell the truth. You worrying about rent, you worrying about how you gonna eat, you worrying if you're gonna keep working, you worrying a whole bunch. You wanna know if you're gonna get robbed that night when you come in from getting paid. Half the brothers try to get uh what do you call it, direct deposit, so they won't get robbed. A lot of brothers put money in their socks so they won't get robbed, man. You know what I mean? A lot of brothers, man, they, they get scared when they see cops pull up while they driving. You don't know if the cop, the white cop, having a bad goddamn day. He tell you go show me some ID. You wonder if he gonna shoot you while you going to get the ID after he done gave you the command. You know what I mean? It was a brother that was in the gas station, and the cop said, "Let me see your ID." The brother ain't think nothing of it. He reached in the car, and the cop, ba ba ba. He said, "Man, what you shoot?" After, after lying down on the ground, he like, "Yo, yeah, what you shoot me for? You told me to get my ID." You can pull this up on the internet, man. You the victim in America, man. Don't be walking around here like you bad. You the victim, man. You the victim in this earth, man. I'm, I'm gonna keep it real. We the victim in America, man. You know what I'm saying? We don't. Neither should, should the sole of thy feet have rest. Neither of the sole of thy feet have rest. Black man, you need rest, man. You need rest from all this oppression, man. Read. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart and failing of eyes. Yeah, that, that's why black people got hypertension, high blood pressure. That's why they dying of stress and all that. You know what I mean? Dying of stress, worrying about them bills, man. Read. And sorrow of mind. And sorrow of mind. That's like the Hispanic tribes, man. They worrying about it, they getting ready to get deported, man. Can you imagine if you got children in this country and you got a family and a life here and then all of a sudden you go to work 
and then your family don't see you no more? Imagine that. Your family don't see you no more. Can you imagine how that is, man? That's a horrible feeling. That's a horrible feeling, man. The Spanish tribes went the same thing that we went through during the time that we were supposed to be out of slavery, man. There was black men looking for their family, and guess what? The so-called white man was snatching them up and putting them back on plantations, man. You going through the same thing that the you went through the same thing that the Hispanics is going through. The movie Twelve Years of Slavery. Anybody see that? Now where was that brother at when it started? He was up north, but somebody them snatched him up and put him back in slavery, man. That's the same thing how the Hispanics feel, man. Strong, That's how they feel, man. It's more than strong. We need justice, man. We need justice from the Lord by obeying his law, statutes, and commandments, by doing what he said. I just, just told you, man. By doing, nah, by doing what God say do, man. You know what I mean? But he don't control you per se spiritually. Spiritually, he can't stop you from obeying your God. He can't stop that. How are you going to stop that? If you refuse to eat pork, guess what? He can't force pork down your damn throat. If you tell your daughter to have that baby, he can't force her to murder her baby. They done tried by saying we're going to cut you off from welfare, but a lot of sisters may go ahead and have that damn baby. That baby's going to be all right. Multiply as much. Have 10 kids, young brother. Don't worry about taking care of them. God will provide. Better, better than murdering them, right? You know what I mean? You don't want that on your conscience. You know what I mean? You don't want that on your conscience. The white man, he don't mind that on your conscience. Because you know why? He wants you to, you and your woman to go into deep depression. So you'll never come out and get strong. If you're a depressed man, is there any strength or masculinity in you if you're depressed and sad? No. Nah. You'll go and result to using, using drugs. You'll result to drinking. You'll result to just giving up. You know what I mean? You don't never supposed to give up, man. Sometimes having a bunch of children will make you live longer. And guess what? The benefit of it is some of the kids is gonna take care of you when you get older. Now we're gonna have a race of old people with no kids. So I guess instead of being in the shelters, we're gonna be all being nursing homes. So we don't look at the flip side of it, man. We don't look at the flip side, we. Verse 66. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee. That's how we walk around in America, man. The immigration, the immigration laws, man. The Hispanic brothers, man, and the Spanish sisters, they were they worrying about, like if, I, if you go up to Laney Park, as soon as you hear INS is up there, half of them scatter, because they scared. And they'd have been over here making money. I don't even blame anybody for coming and trying to make a better life for themselves. Like how you gonna get mad? And then after America used the Hispanic, you go on these uh, jobs with these cranes. So is immigration really about immigration? Or is it just about the white man tired of the Hispanic generation that's here? I'm going to get rid of them and bring me some more over. It's a game. It's a, it's a uh, never-ending slave system. No, slave system. That's what we don't understand. We think we're free. See, we ain't, we ain't faced up that we're slaves in America, man. You ain't, you ain't hear them to get rich. They tell you about the American dream. They tell you they got your, your black leaders telling you. Oh, you can achieve it if you dream or, or try to fulfill your dreams. There was a white man that came out here a couple of years back. He said every time, every time we set the standard and y'all able to reach that standard, guess what? We move the standard up. And if you reach that standard, we move it even higher. Before all the, all the back in the 80s, the thing was getting a college degree, associate's degree, a bachelor's degree, you was good. With a, with a job, with a good slavery job, you know what I mean? Now they moved it up to a master's degree. That was what, in the 90s? Then after the 90s, when brothers and sisters was getting master's degrees, they said, oh, you need a doctorate. You ain't qualified for enough to answer phones. You know what I mean? We gotta be wise, we gotta serve the most high. That's how you make it in this empire. You gotta obey what the Lord say to do. That's all, that's all God. It ain't about religion. It's about God say don't eat this type of food, don't mess with this type of woman, don't do this, do this to your brother. That's what God said, it ain't about religion. When he talked to Moses, he ain't say, Moses, here, go give them a, a, a Christianity. He ain't do that. He said, tell them these are the things that they shouldn't do 
and the, these are the things that they should do. And if they do these things, I got their back. The Lord said, if you obey me, he said, your adversary would be my adversary, man. And I want the Lord, I want the white man to be the Lord's adversary. I want the white, the Lord to destroy my adversary. My adversary, I want him to be the most high. Because America ain't never dealt us a fair man. We just got to face reality. We got to stop lying to ourselves. It's, it's one thing when somebody lied to you, right or wrong. You know, you deceive. But when you deceive and lie to yourself, now that's a problem. Read. Thou shalt fear day and night. And, and imagine that if you ain't got no training. Imagine if, if the job getting ready to shut down. You know how it is. I work construction too. Sometimes you be like, yo, we almost done. They done put the elevators in. They put the floors in, man. And yo, we done, you be like, yo, where's the next site at? <laughs> right or wrong? Are they starting over here? Are they filled? Are they filled? Are they filled? Are the next one coming up? You know what I mean? We know how that is, man. Imagine a brother catching the charge. You know what I mean? Now he in doubt of his life. Man, they, I remember back in the days, and I know you, y'all remember, when they was giving brother zero to 30. <laughs> you know what I mean? Man, read that again. And thou shalt fear day and night, and shall have none assurance of thy life. You understand? Like we all been, been locked up. Well, not everybody, but I've been locked up. Been you know what I mean? I understand. I understand. You know what I mean? But we all say, I don't know what this judge and the white man, he come and say, listen, he talking about giving you a six years. He be like, for that, now I ain't going for it. He, he go, he go to the bathroom, come out, like he just finished talking to the prosecutor and just say, yo, they, they say, you do these three years, and we cool. Y'all know the game. Half the prosecutors and the lawyers and the, and the, and the public defenders, they all go to lunch together, yeah. play golf together. Yeah. You know what I mean? Be sitting in the office together, man, laughing and joking. And look, and be trading cases with each other. That's the same thing they do to blacks and Hispanics, man. You talk to the Hispanic brothers that's locked up, man. The Native American Indians locked up. They all will say that the lawyers railroaded them, man. Read. Verse 67. In the morning thou shalt say, Would God it were even. And in the evening thou shalt say, Would God it were morning. Meaning this. Sometimes you wake up, man, you say, Man, I can't wait till tonight. Right or wrong. Then it'd be at nighttime, you'd be like, I can't wait till in the morning when this is over. That's what the, that's what that scripture is saying, man. That you just wishing to get the hell out of it. No matter if the morning changed for you or the night changed for you, you want some sort of real change, man. Yo, Barack Obama couldn't do it for sure. They killed more black people in public on on uh, 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 TV than anything ever before. Give me uh, Jeremiah 51 and 20 and 21. Got to understand, man. The immigration laws and the black codes and, and all the laws that are against us, man, it's the same thing that's, that we facing as the Hispanic brothers, man. It's the same thing, ain't nothing different. Hispanic brothers is suffering, they worrying about it. The black man, he worried about it when the cop pull up. Is he gonna get harassed by the cop? I be harassed you know what I mean? all the time. You know what I mean? We all do, man. We all do, that's what America does to minorities, man. It oppresses us, man. You don't pull up on no white boys. Not like that anyway. Up, Where we at, brother? Damn right. Say that one more time for me, though. Uh, 50 and, and 20. On the white man, on the you white see, that's my like fault. Or the white woman, as a matter of fact. No, my bag is Isaiah. Isaiah 51 and 21. My fault, brother. Let me grab some water. Brother, get the scripture right now. Got to wake up, man. Brother, you be against them immigration laws that the white man pushing. You ain't getting no job, and second of all, a lot of y'all ain't gonna go down picking no goddamn oranges, man. Got the nerve to look at me and shit. They, did a, they did a trial run of trying to get inmates to pick them damn oranges. The inmates started working all slow, like it's water. You know what I mean? The inmates was like, yo, man, damn that. Black inmates wasn't trying to do all that. You know what I mean? I know I ain't trying to pick no goddamn oranges. Like that. <laughs> I ain't scared of the white man. Put this you know what I mean? Put this gun on me, yeah, Right. Yeah, Go ahead. Put this gun on me, yeah, Isaiah, 51, 21. Therefore, hear now this, thou afflicted. And we the people that being afflicted, man, by the white man, man. Read. Yeah, right. And drunken. And drunken, man. Yeah, 
lying to us. We drunk. You know what we drunk off of? Goddamn voting, man. You drunk off of goddamn voting. You drunk off of homosexuality. You drunk off of Christianity. You drunk. You out your damn mind. You was drunk off of Barack Obama. You was drunk as hell off of Barack Obama. That nigga Steve Harvey, man, when 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 uh, Hillary Clinton lost, when Hillary Clinton lost, he was so depressed on the radio station. I laughed my butt off, man. I lasted that weak Uncle Tom buffoonery boot licking Uncle Tom Negro. He all in depression. Yeah, buck dancing for the white man. He all he said, well, I guess we got to deal with this mess for four years. Three months later, he all up in Trump's face, kissing his behind. Yeah, that's your goddamn Steve Harvey. Oh, goddamn, you know, I was gonna say something. You know what I mean? Watch my mouth. My shot gonna get on me. <laughs> I don't serve the white man. You know what I mean? I don't serve the white man. But, but go ahead and read it, man. That's what we drunk. We drunken, man. With all types of philosophies, man. The only thing that we ain't been, been uh, guzzling down is these laws, statutes, and commandments. That we ain't never tried. We tried protesting. We tried, with the Black Panther tried to go against the white man with guns. Some of you so-called niggas, you try to love the white man and join his religions and his churches, man. The only thing you ain't tried was to obey the most high, man. It's the only thing you ain't tried, you know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all think it's so hard to do the law, statutes, and commandments. Not eating pork, what the hell? I give me some turkey bacon or beef bacon, man. I ain't got to eat shrimp, crab, and lobster. I for sure ain't messing with no damn man. <laughs> that's one law that's easy to follow. <laughs> I, I ain't having no sex with a man, you know what I mean? They was acting like it's so hard to follow God. It ain't hard to follow God. Hey, it ain't nothing mystical about God. It's like any other father to say, you do this, I'm going to look out for you with that. Don't do this or I'm going to punish you for doing that. Hey, hard. Read. And drunken, but not with wine. <laughs> Meaning we drunk with everything else, man. Read on. 22. Just say the Lord, the Lord. And that God that pleaded the cause of his people. Talking about he pleaded the cause for, for us, man. Blacks, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, man. God pleaded the cause, man. Bush ain't gonna get away with, with, with immigrant, them immigration laws. The white man only want the immigration laws to become in full effect is because he got black people locked down through abortion. He got black people locked down through homosexuality. You ain't gonna produce nothing having sex with the same sex, man. How you gonna produce a child having sex with the goddamn same sex? You already locked down. But let me tell you something, black man. If he got a plan for the Hispanic tribe, who did he already have a plan for? Better think, black man. They in them think tanks. He's just able to come out publicly what he gonna do to the Hispanic tribe. Why? Because they're so called illegal. You ain't illegal. So he gotta do your he gotta do his plan with you behind closed doors. That's what he got to do with you. He got to take you behind closed, take his fellows behind closed doors. This is what we're going to do to the black woman. We're going to put the black woman over the black man and starve the black man. Then the black woman, she's going to look down on the black man and she's going to find herself with a white man. You know what I mean? Right, right. With all them new drugs, K2. I was surprised when I first heard about K2. I said, damn, who, who thought of going into a store, something that's an instant that, to make your house smell good, to have somebody go and smoke it, man? Right? Well, why would the white go ahead and kill you know me right now? Exactly. Why would go ahead and kill me? You know what I mean? But that's all right. We ain't going to do that. You know what we're going to do? We're going to wake black, black men up and black women up. That's what we're going to do. We ain't going we to have them kill themselves off of that. We're going to wake the whole, as many as possible up, man. That's what it's really about. It's about waking up the strong black man, man. We don't. Behold, I have taken out of thy hand the cup of trembling. Oh, said, I'm going to take this cup, all this affliction that you've been going through in America. He said, I'm going to take it out of, out of your hand. I'm not going to make sure that you tremble and be oppressed no more, man. Read. Even the dress of the cup of my fury, thou shalt no more drink it again. He said, you ain't a word about it. You ain't going to drink it, black man, black woman, spotted man. You ain't going to drink it. But I'm going to pass this cup to the people that afflicted you. Read up. Verse 23. 
but I will put it into the hand of them that afflicted thee. Who afflicts us, man? More. The white man, man. There you go. You don't even need the Bible for that. Right or wrong. You don't need no Bible. That's what I tell brothers brother, be on some homosexual stuff. I said, man, I ain't never, I ain't need no Bible to know that it's wrong to have sex with another man. I ain't need that. I don't need the Bible to know that the white man been killing my people. Now what I do, what I did need was I needed to know where's the justice if there is a God for the payment for what he did. And God tells us. That's why he said, I'm gonna take it out of the hand and I'm gonna give it to the one that afflict you with. Which has said to thy soul, bow down. That's what the white man always tell us. Bow down. But I ain't doing that. Cut your, cut your braids off. Cut the beard off. Talk white. Get a college degree. He don't tell the, he don't tell the Asians to go get a college degree to open up a business. But y'all black leaders will be like, hey, you need to get a college degree. Because black leaders hate young black men and young black women, man. You like a burden to them. You don't know, like, like, my people don't understand that black leaders, we are a burden to them. You know what I mean? Like, like, like they feel ashamed of brothers and sisters. That's why when you come down here, you ever see some sisters turn their nose up at you with white people? Right, right, wrong. I used to see it when I was younger up in New York. Walking down and sisters would turn their head at me. Here it is, I'm working, trying to, trying to do the right thing. <laughs> you know what the problem was? My dumb behind was trying to be accepted in the white man's world. <laughs> I should have just said, I'm going to do my thing and get this money and be out. You know what I mean? It ain't worth it, you know what I mean? Read. Which has said to thy soul, bow down, that we may go over. And thou has laid the body as the ground in this. America wants you to bow down so that he can walk all over you. And once he walk all over you, he'll have the Chinese walking all over you in your own damn neighborhood. He'll have the Arabs walking all over you in your own damn neighborhood. He'll have the Africans walking all over your own damn neighborhoods, man. Every nation walks all over the black man, man. Walks all over the black woman, the Hispanic man, the Hispanic sister, man. That's what the white man tells us, man. But there's justice coming. Give me Psalms 109, verse 3. The white man wants to be scared of him, though, man. And I ain't scared of him. That's a damn show. That's a damn show. And that's why he trying to demasculate men. Because he know we ain't scared of him. Right, right. You know what I mean? He don't, he don't want your son to be like you. So he tell your son to be feminine. It's okay to be a homosexual. You know what I mean? I'm telling you what he said. And right. that's what he say. You know what I mean? The white man, that's what he try. He'll try to destroy your next generation. You know what I mean? Oh, you got it? Let me know what you got. Read. Psalms 109 verse 3. They can pass me about also with words of hatred. And that the white man, he can pass us about with words of hatred, man. So for that, everybody know Trump was a racist. Here's the problem. You act like he's the first racist that entered into the White House, man. That's the problem. He ain't the first, right or wrong, he ain't the first racist. Right or wrong. Reagan was a racist, man. Yeah, you act like white people ain't racist, man. Come on, man. As soon as, soon as a black man get killed, like that brother, when his, when his brother got killed, but I love what that brother said. The, the news reporter went to this brother whose brother got murdered. He said, is all white people are, are the devil? He said, all white people are the devils, man. He said, every last one of them. He had a quick understanding on life. You know what I mean? It took, it took a little bit of his family member dying, but he had a quick understanding right after that, read. And fought against me without a cause. And he fought against us without a cause. We ain't done nothing to the white man. You know what I mean? During the 60s, we tried to march just so we could get equal pay. We tried to march just so we could use the same goddamn toilet that he's sitting on. Personally, I don't want to sit on the toilet that white people sat on. That's me personally. I don't want to eat the food that they eat. You know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a soul food type of dude. I'm a, I'm a, without the pork, though, let me explain that. Without the pork, without the chitlins, without the pig feet, I'm not with it. You know what I mean? 
I'm a soul food type of brother, man. I like fried chicken. I like watermelon. I like rice and beans. I like tacos. You know what I mean? I try to get it in when I can. Read. Verse 4. For my love, they are my adversaries. For my love, they are my adversaries. We didn't do nothing in the 60s but try to love the damn white man. And he been murdering us ever, ever since. He put heroin in our neighborhoods, man. He put crack cocaine in our neighborhoods, man. Now he pushing homosexuality. He trying to whole change the dynamics of what our people really stand for, man, which is righteousness, man. That's what a true black man is about. Original black man was about righteous, righteousness, man. And that's what Christ was about, about being righteous, man. He ain't nothing to do with no damn religion. Christ ain't bringing and starting no new religion. Christ obeyed those laws, man. That's what Christ came to do, man. Peter and Paul was teaching about Christ obeying all the laws and started teaching other brothers to obey the law. Had nothing to do with no damn religion, man. The hell, ain't nobody following no damn religion today, man. Read. But I give myself unto prayer. Meaning this, we give ourselves unto prayer, man. We pray that America falls. We pray for the destruction of America. Because we done gave our love to America. We done fought in all the wars of America. We done fought in World War I. Some of us have fought into the Revolutionary War and the Civil War. We done gave our love to this goddamn stinking country, man. Well, tell me we didn't. Well, tell me we didn't. Read. And they have rewarded me evil for good. And that's how the white man pay you back. He rewards you for all your allegiance to him. He rewards you with evil. Same thing with the Hispanic tribe. The Mexicans and the Guatemalans, they here building up the country. And the white man want to deport them. They here picking all the fruit, the oranges. They all out in the hot sun just so that they can eat and provide for their family. And how do the white man reward them? By deporting them, man. That's the white man for you. He's the damn devil, man. And I don't mean no pitchfork devil. I'm talking about a wicked bastard. That's all I'm saying. He's the wicked bastard. What's that? Right, a real flesh and blood devil, man. <laughs> More like the dragon, huh? He come through your land like a dragon. Killing everything in his path, man. Stealing all the natural resources. Dividing the people up. Why you think Africa is so damn destroyed? Because of so-called white men. Why do you think South America is so destroyed? Because of the white man. Why do you think you so destroyed? Because of the white man, man. Right, say that again. Right, why do you think the earth is in turmoil, man? Because of the white man. He invades. He don't mind his business. He a thief. I mean, damn, he can't get satisfied with America. He got to go and steal all the oil. Like, damn, when do your belly ever get filled, man? God damn. You know when your belly gonna get filled? When it get cut open. When Christ comes and cut it open. And then we gonna say, put that in your stomach. Put that in your belly. Swallow that down. You know what I mean? Read. And hatred for my love. He hated us for our love. The Ku Klux Klan is multiplying and multiplying. And I hope you white people hear me because I hope you multiply with the Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with you being a racist. Nothing wrong with it, man. Oh, I mean, you know what the problem with you being a racist is? Is that you hide your racism exactly. until you get around your own, man. Exactly, huh? You know what I mean? Ain't nothing wrong with, with loving time. your own race. I'm gonna love my own race. Exactly. I'm spreading my love all the other nations. I mean, what's wrong with me loving my own people, man? Exactly. You know what I mean? What's wrong with me loving a black woman? You know how you don't want me to touch your woman. Hi, man. Hi, you're racist. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with it, man. White people act like, you know, they talk to, you know, da, 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 and all that. I ain't the one murdering nobody, man. I might be a racist, but listen, I'm not murdering nobody. I ain't lynching no white man. I ain't locking no white man up unjustly. I'm not even putting my hands on a white man, man. All I'm saying is I'm going to separate my love, and he get offended over that. But I'm going to love only black people, man. Like, white people think that we supposed to love them and we and them not to love us back. 
So-called Negroes, they don't even care about whether the white man loved them back. They want to love the white man any damn way. That ain't the case with the Hebrew Israelites. Take a, take a note, we are the Hebrew Israelites of ISUPK. We ain't loving white people the way you do. And I hope every white person that see you, when they see you, I hope they see me inside of you. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping you go to a job interview and they see this brother, this light-skinned brother with a, with a rag around his head with that damn mic. Because other than that, you'll never wake up. Sometimes it takes a little racism to wake a black man up. You know what I mean? Really? Verse 6. Set down a wicked man over him. God, I mean, David said, set a wicked man over him. Put a wicked man over this white race, man. He's been a wicked man over us, so now put a wicked man over him, just so he'll see how it feels. Read. And let Satan stand at his right hand. And let Satan stand at his right hand. Let Satan stand at the right hand of that wicked man that's over him. Read. When he shall be judged, let him be condemned. You hear that? When the white man is judged, let him be found guilty of all charges. Slavery, crack cocaine, heroin, abortion, homosexuality. They even said it before I did. Immigration. How the hell are they going to immigrate somebody and they build in their own goddamn country up? That's like me going to your, you come to my house and you and you building my house up and then I'll put you out and get you locked up. You be like, yo, hold up, man. I just built your house. I don't care. Get out. <laughs> Get out, you know what I mean? Uh, now, all I'm saying is reality, we got to start facing reality. If somebody tell you about the immigration laws, tell them, say man, immigration laws, the only illegal immigrant is the so-called white man. Last I know, this was the Native American Indians land. What is she talking about? What is she talking about? Where the Native American Indians at in this land? I don't even see no American Native American Indians, except this brother right here. <laughs> A, he, he's, he's like a dying breed right here <laughs> in D.C. You know what I mean? They done slaughtered them. Now they working on us and they pissed off with the Hispanic tribe because one thing differs from the Hispanic tribe and the black and the Native American Indians is that they ain't killing their babies through abortion. I give them props for that. They love their children. They love the seed that they put in their women. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing wrong with having one, a couple of bambinos. Ain't that what they call them, boss? A couple of bambinos and stuff. Read. And let his prayer become sin. Hear that? And let the white man's prayer become sin. You get ready to read again, because I'm going to roll through this. Hey, hey, speak to the white man coming down the street. Come right here. I ain't going to speak to him. I'm speaking to the whole race. I'm speaking to, I can't speak to one white man. I got to speak to America. That's small game, no. When he shall be judged, let him be condemned. And let his prayer become sin. Let his days be few. Let his days be few. Meaning, let him be cut off. Let him be killed. When it says, let his days be few, let the white race die. Oh God, that's what this brother is saying to God. Let his days be few. He try to make your days few in the earth and in this land. Cops killing you, locking you up, putting you on drugs, cutting you off, cutting you off from your woman, cutting you off from your children. Well, let him be found guilty, man, when he's judged. Since he's been judging everybody else, let him get judged and be found guilty. I have no remorse for white people, man. No remorse. Waiting on that day. Damn, I want some, boy, I want some, I want some get back. I want some get back. It's ridiculous. I ain't no Christian to talk about love your enemies. Hell yeah, what? Say it again? I understand that scripture where Christ was talking about. Christ was talking to the Israelites. He talking about if you got a beef with a brother, love your brother. Love Christ was quoting from the, the law of Moses. Like so if everybody don't understand. The so-called slave master used that to benefit himself. He ain't never told a slave that Christ was talking to the Israelites because Christ was an Israelite. Christ was talking about black unity. The strongest black man that ever walked the face of the earth going towards some real unity, man. Anytime you got a soldier that lay down his life for you, you know that's your soldier. That's your man. Except with Christ, that's our king. That's what we don't understand. This ain't about no religion. That kid's about some goddamn religion, man. 
I'm talking about my identity, who I am. I'm talking bloodline, man. I'm talking family. That's what I'm talking about, man. Talking about loving the other nations for what? I don't see no other nations loving my people. What the hell wrong with me? I got to be a goddamn weakling. Just to fall for that. Arabs all up in D.C. was up in D.C. selling pork. Don't you Muslim? You know what they say? Oh, the customer is always right. Oh, they throw away Islam when it come to you. They'll sell you some pork. They'll sell you some drugs. They'll do anything because nobody cares about you. They had an Asian on, on, on the internet choking his sister out, talking about she sold, she stole something. Not only before he choked her out, he was hitting on his black sister like if she was a man. And I'm supposed to love the Asians? I'm supposed to love the Asians? Out your damn mind, man. We know what we need to do? Boycott the goddamn Chinese restaurants all across America just for that one incident. After you boycott them, guess what? They can't pay no damn rent. That's how you break them, man. You ain't got to march or protest. You ain't even got to say nothing to them. All you got to do is start talking to your own people. Listen, we ain't going no more into these, to these restaurants. We're going to start to cut them off. Bro, we be like, yeah, you right, but where we going to eat at now? Don't worry about it. We're going to find somewhere else. We're going to find a black restaurant. We can't find a black restaurant. We're going to find somewhere else. But the Asians don't get no more money until they out of our neighborhood. That's how you start a revolution. You don't start no revolution with running around with a goddamn sign. You don't start a revolution with have a so-called black black Uncle Tom Negro leader going up in the Chinese restaurant and begging him, you begging him to apologize. What the hell is that? You begging another race of people to apologize. You supposed to demand an apology, but I say the hell with apology. Why not just shut them down? Just like you shut anybody else down. Oh man. People like me every day. I got a brother from I got a brother from Mississippi, and he will never go into a Chinese restaurant. A brother that lived up in Philly, lived in DC. You can't get that brother to eat Chinese food, man. Because people down in Mississippi won't eat Chinese food, man. But you know what? We'll eat any goddamn thing that anybody throw in front of us, man. Like, how in the hell can a Chinese get in your neighborhood any damn way? Answer me that. Do we live in the neighborhood? And then he, he lived in the neighborhood for some years, and he said, you know what? Being at the store is vacant, I'm gonna open up a business. How do you get in your neighborhood, man? So-called white man gave him your neighborhood stores, man. You wanted integration, the white man backfired it on you. He said, I'm gonna give you some integration. I'm gonna integrate your stores. How you like them apples? And then we went for it. Come on, man. Verse nine. Let his children be fatherless. Hear that? God said, let his children be fatherless, man. Just like our children are fatherless, God is saying the same thing about the white man. That's called justice, man. We don't know what justice is, man. How many of you brothers never grew up with your father, man? That was right, without, without a father, man. We don't even understand. It was, this thing was not by design, man. Read. And his wife, a widow. Hear that? And let his wife be a widow. A lot of sisters, a lot of brothers don't understand what widow means. Widow is a sister that don't have no man. You know what we call that? We call that single woman. That's a widow, man. A sister that can't find a man to stay with her. That's a horrible thing for a sister because she feels unprotected without having a man. That's a scary sight. A widow not having a man. Nobody to defend, defend her life. Read. Let his children be continually vagabonds. That's what our children are now. God said the same thing. Let his children be vagabonds, man. Let them become beggars, man. What do you think the welfare system is about? It's about us begging for food, man. It's about us begging for jobs, man. All that, man. It's about us becoming beggars. In the ISUPK, the Hebrew is like, we don't do no begging. We support one another. That's how you fight white racism. You fight white racism, like, 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 like Captain Mashak said, by being a racist. You don't fight racism by loving the racist. That's like me loving the Ku Klux Klan. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Oh man, it don't make no damn sense. Read. Let them seek their bread also out of their desolate places. Let the ex extortioner catch all that he has. Let the extortioner catch all that he has. Somebody that extorts money and takes money? 
and triples the money on you. That's what an extortioner are. There's somebody that say, you, you got this $10, you owe me 50. The Lord said, let, let that person rule over me. Let him come up and catch him. You know what I mean? And that's gonna happen to the white man when we get on top. Country's gonna come up and say, you owe us for 400 years of oppression. You owe us for 200 years of oppression. You owe us for 100 years of oppression. You owe us for stealing all the oil in our land. White man got a hell of a judgment to pay, man. I know it don't sound, it don't sound like reality, but you thinking, you thinking he gonna get away with everything. White man got, got, got his day coming, man. His day is coming short. That's why they're trying to eliminate the Hispanic tribe. They scared that the Hispanics and the blacks might decide to unite. Well, I got news for you, white man. God said, right, we already did. You a little too late on that. You right. You got, you got, us, you got Mexicans in California and in Texas that's hanging with brothers that's united because they started to realize that the same white man that's killing black men He's killing the Mexicans. He's killing the Hondurans. He's killing the El Salvadorians. He's killing all of the Guatemalans. Starting to wake up and realize the same thing that's going on with the Hispanic tribe is the same thing going on with blacks. I don't know you. I don't let nobody tell you crap. You know why? Because I never saw you before. But you are back man. You are back man. You are Trying to find something to follow Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain, and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed, so packed I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's already turned from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good shepherd Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale. Listen well to what I tell No call it can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well Can't you tell I was sent from the Lord Got a tongue like a two-edged sword